unless you or an ancestor were an Aboriginal or Native American, you or your ancestors came to this country from somewhere else. America is and has been since its founding a country of immigrants. That being said, we've always limited who was allowed or at certain points in our past. At one point, the Irish were looked upon and the same can be true of the Italians and later the Eastern Europeans and most recently people of Arab descent or people from Hispanic or Latin countries. A lot of this has to do with things like ethnocentrism and the conceivable issues of racism. But some of it could be pocketbook issues, things like people were afraid that person A from this particular country is going to take their jobs or their livelihoods. And at least since 2016, there has been an additional push from people who are anti-immigration, who believes these people who are coming to America are only coming for nefarious and bad reasons and are going to cause harm if they're allowed in America. Whether that's rape or murder or theft. This has been an endemic problem that America has faced since the beginning. This anti-immigration stance. And certainly not all Americans believe this. I don't believe this. I believe that without immigrants, this country would be nothing. Literally, historically. But a lot of people disagree with me. If you are an American, what are your thoughts on immigration? And if you are from another country, what are your thoughts about people coming to either America or to your respective country. And I know it's a little bit different in countries with a more monoculture, i.e. places where the predominant majority of a particular country is of one ethnic background or origin. Doing something like what happened with Syrians in Scandinavia was a bit of contention for a lot of people. It was done for the right reasons, and I think it was important, but it wasn't smooth sailing for everyone involved. What lessons can be learned by an example like that? What lessons can be learned by allowing more Ukrainians into countries like America or opening the borders to Mexico. What are your thoughts? Do you believe that immigration is fundamental to the rich tapestry that is America? And are you concerned with the declining population of births? of Americans. If we don't get more immigrants in this country, we may end up with the same problems of an aging population that countries like Japan is now unfortunately facing. Not enough people to go and keep the country afloat. A lot of places are going to experience that issue within the next 50 to 100 years, conceivably within our lifetimes. Do we need to have more children? Will we be able to make up that difference with immigrants? What are your thoughts? And I know this is a potentially charged topic, but I think more and more people need to discuss these kinds of things. And I would love to hear your views on the topic. If you are a potential immigrant to America, what is bringing you here 
and what types of obstacles are you facing? With the most recent political changes in America, and specifically to the border of Mexico, uh, asylum seekers are facing problems that they've never faced before coming to America. And I can only imagine what they're going through. And asylum is different than just coming to America for want of opportunity. If you are conceivably in danger by staying in your own country, don't the other countries of the world have an obligation to help you? Please share your thoughts below, and uh, thank you for watching. Take care.